and welcome back to part two of today's spring Zara haul. I'm so excited to be sharing with you these new one pieces from Zara. Um, if you guys watch part one, you will know this is my first Zara haul of 2022 and it's my first fashion haul in a really long time. I used to only do fashion hauls on my channel and they definitely will be coming back. So you guys should be very happy about that. I also share lots of styling tips um, over on my Instagram and outfit of the day ideas, really easy, comfortable, chic, easy outfits to wear basically. So if you're not following me over there, make sure you do. Okay, so part two, Zara haul. So this is a really, really cute leopard print. I'm very, very picky with my tones of leopard print that I go for. However, this is a really nice tone. It's very cream and brown. Um, a little bit khaki in there as well, which I think is really nice. I also think just like neutral tones, especially going to spring, are just really nice, easy, versatile ways to, to bring more colour into your wardrobe without being like you know, with all the bright colours that we're seeing everywhere at the minute, which I am loving. The bright oranges, the really like deep cobalt blues, there's like emerald green everywhere and like this hot pink, which I used to think hot pink was so chavvy, but there's it's like coming back in like a really classy way and I love it. So yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. What a fact all these colours are coming in. However, if you aren't someone who feels super comfortable in like bright colours, then neutral items are a really nice way to bring some more colour back into your wardrobe at this time of year. This is $27.99. Um, I got it in a large. If you are new here, if you're new to my channel, I'm size 12, UK 12 and 5 foot 9, just for like reference, because you guys always seem to ask. And yeah, this is just really, really cute ruffle skirt. It's very, very flattering. It's got like this like, um, ruche detail on the bum which i always think like always accentuates the booty which we love and just very flattering for like maybe more mid-sized gals like me who've got like a bit of a belly maybe like a bit a bit bigger bottom than than the usual bottom or than we normally see on the zara models um but yeah just embrace it and enjoy because this is just a beautiful skirt and a really really flattering skirt because i don't tend to wear that many skirts because I don't find them very flattering. However, this is super flattering. Um, and could be worn with like tight boots or just like legs out, heels, very, very big stuff. So this is from one of the um, new collections on Zara. This is called the New York City Ballet Collection. This was 45 pound, I got it in a large. So it's like these like oversized, big balloon sleeved cardigan. It's really lovely cable knit. I love the sleeves on this. Um, however, I didn't really like the way the wrap around sort of like fitted. It didn't really fit great across the bust. I'm not sure if it would look better if I did have a big bust. Um, it just didn't really suit me properly. I don't know if maybe I needed to go down to a medium. Um, but it's just like a wrap around cardi, a nice tie waist. Um, the Lorna Lux collection has one very, very similar to this. And it looks almost like um, there's from like a year or two ago. So I kind of, it's not really like anything new, but I just think it's like a nice classic staple piece, really easy to wear with like mom jeans. Again, you could wear it like that nice midi skirt that I picked up in haul one. Um, it was like a nice satin pleated midi, um, which was gorgeous, like snake skin and um, maybe some like the mom jeans from video one as well. Also some of the cream boots would look great with it. So yeah, a really cute piece, but it just wasn't for me. Also came out as a really fancy like New York ballet pink box, which I thought was really cute and like a nice little touch, but kind of over the top for a cardigan. <laughs> yeah, I love the way the Zara comes in like these nice packages and they don't use plastic. However, like it came in this box, which is like really nice. And like, it'd be great to like keep things in, I guess, but just did seem a little bit unnecessary. However, it was a nice surprise. Maybe that's why it's a little bit more expensive than their normal collection. Okay, next, as I mentioned in the last video, I've been trying to find some like nice neutral tone uh, like long line coats that fit well and that you can wear over layers but also like look nice with maybe just like a maxi or midi dress as well um but this one again like it's just too big and this one's a medium as well so I feel like I know they're oversized style but like they're really oversized they're huge this one is Milano wool which is very like fancy which is why I think it's 159 which is pricey but it's one of those like coats you'll have forever it's really beautiful. It's like really great detail. It's got the nice tortoiseshell buttons again. Um, and I really like that because it just brings in like other tones and makes it really easy to like wear with other things. However, it's just like really big and oversized, like too oversized. So definitely would need to um, size down into a small in that one, which which always surprises me because I'm like, well, what do the, what do the like smaller size people wear? <laughs> but yeah. 
It's really nice, however, and the tone is like just beautiful. I absolutely love this next top. This was $22.99 and I got it in a large. Again, it was a little bit snug. Um, it has a zip at the side to get you in and out of, which is nice. Um, and I love the just like dropped like little ruchy bit here. I think it looks really sexy. Saffron's like really classy, sexy, and I think quite timeless. Um, this is a little bit more cropped than the pink one I showed you earlier and it's got a little bit more structure because it's got the boning detail in it. Um, again, it's got adjustable straps which is really nice and I think this is just going to look beautiful like in some high-waisted shorts, in some high-waisted white jeans, white trousers, um, with some heels you know, for like a really classy date light look or girls night, that kind of vibe. And this one I think is also from the New York Ballet collection is it? Oh it doesn't say it is. This was styled underneath this in on the Zara website and Yes, this would look great together. However, I couldn't get it on my bust area. I picked it up in a medium, which I don't know why I picked up in a medium, but it was way too small. Definitely would have to go to large. It's a beautiful color. Um, the body, it's like it's just a little like cute bodice. Again, I think it's gonna look really like sexy for a date night, classy, um, under a blazer with some high-waisted jeans, something like that, very, very nice, just like easy to wear. It is quite short, like quite short in the body, so you definitely have to go like really high-waisted jeans or, um, Maybe even like a high-waisted skirt would look quite pretty with it. But yeah, it's really lovely and I do think the colour of it is beautiful. Kind of reminds me of like something from the 90s. Like I feel like those kind of vibes like they're coming back in, but it's beautiful. Next thing I picked up is this on the coat, coat hunt, is this coat, which is absolutely beautiful. I love it. And again, I'm just so like gutted. This one's a large. So if I'd got this in a medium, I actually think this would have been a better fit. I'll put it over this view just so you can just see. Um, over the blazer, it actually feels all right. Oh, actually it does fit okay. No, it's too big. It's too big. Like it's just too blocky, but however I can feel it would be like tight if I went down to a medium, which is such a shame. I also think the like white, the starkness of the white may be kind of hard to style. Um, but I do think it's a really lovely coat. I love the like, the material, the bobbly, I forgot what it's called. The I've forgotten what that's called, but I really, really like, I like the style of it. However, it's 119 pounds. I don't 119 pound like it. Whenever I ask myself, I'm gonna keep something, I'm like, do I like it? And I say the price amount, I'm like, do I 119 pound like it? No. So it can go back. I think it's like a nice, it doesn't look 119 pounds worth of coat. It kind of looks like a H&M 45 pound coat, so. As summer is on its way, and I always find shorts really hard to find in summertime, I saw these, and they also come with like a matching, um, like, cord, which is really, really lovely. They're, it's absolutely beautifully designed, really, really pretty. I love the shorts, I love the detail um, on the bottom. It's like crochet detail, it's so nice. And then they're also like a structured linen, but they're double lined, which is nice, so they're not see-through. Um, I got these in a large fit, was lovely. Like I said, it does come as a cord on the website if you want to order the top, you can. However, the shape wasn't really like very good for my bust area, so I was like, not, not for me. Um, $29.99 is, I think, a nice, affordable price for a pair of shorts. And I always do have, like I've got a lot of pairs of Zara shorts, and they're the kind of ones I keep year after year and year after year, like wear them on holiday every year. So I feel like I thought they were going to be like that, but I'm not going to keep them because I'm not absolutely in love with them. And that is like my, I have to be absolutely in love with something like to keep it. I'm so ruthless at the minute with my, what I keep and what I don't, because I don't, at the minute me and me sold our homes, we don't actually have a home. So we're like moving around between places like traveling. Um, we're going to Europe next month which I'm super excited about um, and we just got back from Mexico last month which if you've been here for a while you know we were traveling there for like six months so yeah it's kind of like hard to keep a lot of stuff so I kind of have to be quite ruthless with what I keep um but yeah I'm already thinking about like all the Europe style outfits that I can put together I'm so excited Okay, so this next top, I saw this on someone and I just, I'm always looking for like a nice white blouse that doesn't feel masculine or like doesn't feel like an, like an office mum who's like 50. <laughs> like I, if anyone feels my pain on this one, I'm sure I can't be the only person that's literally like trying to find a nice blouse or white shirt is hard. This is 22 99 so it's really, really well priced. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's like a satiny, silky, and I love the buttons on this. They're really, really sweet, like a shell button. 
And the fit was really nice on this. The neckline is actually really nice on this. However, I just found it like a little bit too stark white. I think I would have liked it like a little bit more creamy. I don't know. Actually, when I'm looking at it like this, I like it. But when I had it on, I wasn't sure. So maybe I'll just try that on again. But I think $22.99 is really affordable. A size large, fit really nice. Maybe could have gone down to a medium, but then maybe it would have been tight on the bust. I'm not sure. It's kind of oversized. Um, but it is really pretty, like an oystery, pearly kind of. And then the last piece I have to share with you is this orange jumper dress, which like I said, it is lots of bright colors coming in and I was definitely trying with this one because I can't wear bright, bright orange, it just doesn't suit me, but I thought this, because it's like a more of a burnt orange, I thought we'd be okay, but it's still too bright, unfortunately, for me. Um, the fit on this was lovely, the length of it is beautiful, I love the sleeves, I love the texture, I love the, like, the knit dress is just gorgeous, and I love a knitted, like, jumper dress, I don't think there's anything comfier in the world. Um, $45.99, so a little bit more pricey, but again, like, you'll have it year after year after year, because those kind of things just don't go out of style. Um, and it is a size medium and that fit really lovely as you can see it looks very large so I think probably like if you're a 12 and a medium is a good like you don't want to go up too much because I think jumper dresses should just sit over the body they shouldn't really touch anywhere if it's like clinging in any area I would suggest going up a size um, and that is everything from today's haul I hope that you guys did enjoy I'm just looking around the room and checking that we've got everything I think I have um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram and TikTok because I share daily outfit videos, really easy ways to style things, different ways to style certain pieces and a lot more fashion content every single day. So yeah, I'd love to see you over there. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe with the armor button on and I'll see you in the next video. Let me know your favorite item or if you buy any of the items. Bye for now. <laughs>